I think for the early game progress, you only have to know that um, the weapon repair kits and the armor repair kits are going to be a lot more expensive than before because they give you buffs. The stimulants, well, you're not going to use stimulants that much at the start of the wipe. Maybe the boy signs might help you to survive. You don't want to hear kill us boy sign <laughs> at the start of the wipe. Rebalance conditions and rewards in the old quest and added new quest as they tease for a while. Some quests in chains can now become available after a period of time after the completion of the previous one. The spawn points of some quest items have been changed. The items will be in one of the random places located near to each other. So the golden jeepo is not going to be on the singular place, but it's going to be in that room, but around somewhere else in that room, something like that, I think. So they're trying to make us mess around with one place a lot more, <laughs> extending the playtime. All right. And also the audio maybe, yeah, the audio is going to be important, especially in Streets of Tarkov. The sound positioning system handles much larger number of conditions to form the final sound in relation to the player's position. So basically it's saying that it's a lot going to be more revealing for where the players are at with the sounds. Because right now... They sound like they're upstairs or downstairs or behind you or in front of you sometimes. Really weird. You guys all know that right now if you have played Tarkov. But I think they are saying they fixed it. Especially in Factory Customs, Woods, Streets of Tarkov. With the new implement of Oculus Earth Audio. They used to use Steam Audio. So yeah, guys. The wipe is here. It already started updating. They said it's going to take 6 hours. And by the time, whenever I upload this video, I think it will have like 3 hours left. They also released the patch note for 13.00. There are some lures on the top, but I don't think you guys are not that much interested. So let's just go to right into the important parts. I think on the lower part, the only important part is the end part here, right here. This update adds a part of the city of the Tarkov, located in at the intersections of... Primorsky Avenue and Klimov Street. This part of location contains an abandoned factory, Pinewoods Hotel, News Agency Building, Concordia Residential Complex, Car Dealership, Terracote, uh, Business Center, Cinema, Sparza, Supermarket, and other stuffs, other objects of urban in infrastructure. This is the first part of the work on the city and later the location will be expanded so it's basically the trailer that we saw most recently the repair kits and enhancements weapon body armor and plate carriers now receive a standard or rare improvements when repaired via re repair kits so repair kits will give you a buff on your gun or on your armor as they have been teasing about for a while ago for a while the ability to enhance items opens at level 10 that's pretty quicker than i thought for weapons it is weapon maintenance for armor it is light armor and heavy armor so now we have light armor and heavy armor we can even see it in the below there are new added skills light armor and heavy armor the skill progression reduces the penalty of mobility wear of armor when repairing and damage from melee weapons when struck in damage of melee weapons? <laughs> okay. Blunt damage. Heavy armor actually blocks the blunt damage though. Reward charisma skill. I don't know if that matters too much though. It only like reduces the insurance, paid extracts, replacement of operational task, and the price of scab box. I think he's talk is talking about the scab, scab case, and also therapist's healing services. Now back to the repair kit. Rare enhancements can be can only be applied at the elite level of the corresponding skill. What the hell? <laughs> so okay, so, but there is standard and rare improvements. So rare is like um top tier skill top tier improvement and standard there is still gonna be standard improvement 
The chance and strength of a normal standard enhancement depends on the level of the corresponding skill. Yep. For body armor and plate carriers, the enhancement reduces the damage a character receives. Wow. But it says on the below on the skills only melee and the blunt damages. Melee is kind of weird. So I guess people shouldn't be using light armor too much. <laughs> and weapons can have two kinds of enhancements at the same time. The first is the decrease in malfunction chance. And the second is the accuracy increase. That's really good, accuracy increase. Malfunction, cha mal malfunction chance also seems good because it has the guns have been malfunctioning a lot these days. The enhancement is effective within the certain range of the items, technical condition, or armor points, and it will be removed in case of another repair. Oh. So it can be done only once within a certain range. So if, if it has like 60 durabilities, it will be enhancements only until like 50 durability. And then after that, even though you repair it, you don't get the enhancements. The enhancement and its value affect the value of the item. Oh, okay. The selling price insurance flea market P. The intelligence skill will now affect the amount of repair points and that will be sent on repairs, okay? Now the value of the removed max durability of an item when repairing via repair kit. Uh, what? <laughs> repair kit depends on a corresponding skill. Yep, that sounds kind of obvious. For weapons, it is weapon maintenance. For armor, it is arm right, light armor and heavy armor. For other items with durability points, it is intelligence. All right. Weapons and equipments. Well, these have been already teased a bunch of times, but it also said added a new equipment. That is, that is really sus. There might be some new guns and new armors, I guess, or maybe something totally different. We'll have to see in that in the game. And co-op PvE expansion. I mean, I'm pretty sure some people like me who is a content creator will like have a lot of interest in this, but I don't think normal players will care to too much. Well, if you're a dip deep into the game, you might want to do like some co-op shenanigans with your friends. You can check it out by yourself. I'll pause. You can pause it and read it out. The second part of the important part is that hideout upgrade is going to be added to new upgrades levels for the shooting range. The new levels allow you to set up a variety of shooting targets, including moving targets. That's really in in interesting. And use the training program to improve your shooting accuracy. Wow, training program. Just like all the other FPS games now. And I think this is one of the biggest changes. Added five new stimulants. Of Durbus 2, that has been teased in almost all Chronicles of Rage video that Sanitar has been crafting of Durbus 2. A syringe that is homemade drug developed by Sanitar, a new version of the old classic. But it doesn't really say that much. Did not end with the closure of Terra Group Labs itself. It might be a quest item. It doesn't really say what the effects are. SJ12. TG Labs. This one I also read already. It says slows down the, some functions of the body and they temporarily start working with energy regeneration, which sounds like, well, let's read it through, read it through. The drug forces the release of vasopressin in the hypothermus. <laughs> I have no clue what that means. I mean, I can look up to it, but I think I think it's just gonna say how what the effects are, which leads to a change in the work of the adrenal glands, lowers body temperature and increases the perception. Yep, that's the whole point. <laughs> lowers body temperature and increases the perception. God dang it, why can't that be? They be just simple about it. After the ending, the action, 
there is usually a jump in uh, temperature to 40 to 42 degrees as a compensation for the incorrect functioning of the body systems. So yeah, side effects of higher temperature. I mean, SJ9, nobody really uses it. Maybe it's going to be useful um, against Jirachi. People have been talking about it. Because Jirachi has like a thermal scope on him. That's the like the th first thermal scope boss we ever had. Anyways, next one. Perfotoron, blue blood. This one's really weird. Capable antidote, antidote capable of relieving toxins, poisons, and radiation damage. Sounds like um augmentin in a XTG. Or whatever it said blood substitute but it's like a radiation damage and poisons toxins curing the radiation damage is coming out again but i don't think it's gonna actually update uh radiation damage yet once in the blood it temporarily speeds up the metabolism and regenerates tissues so that's the main part they made it difficult again negatively affects Health in case of overdose or injection. I mean, all the freaking injectors do that, I think. And Trimador. Uh, this one also has a lot of explanation, but it actually does like increases the combat characteristics. I think it's similar to Observus. Overdose leads to exhaustion of the body after the effect wears off. Hmm. So it's like a battle stimulant, which is actually the next one too, PMB, a combat stimulant developed by terror groups labeled PNB. Short term activation of the inner muscles, bringing them into a state of hypertonicity, which in turn reduces the received damage. At the same time, there is an active uh, synthesis of proteins for accelerated tissue regeneration used for the extension of the organism abilities at the key moments in the combat at the key moments of the combat okay a lot of for use and has some side effects yeah this one also it i think mainly it has like a regeneration thing and also boost in some skills and some side effects. I mean, we'll never know the details, but it does give us the hint. And the one I'm excited about: boy signs of new boss, uh, boy signs of the bosses, new ones. Killa, Tequila, Knight, Bird Eye, Big Pipe. Yes, they need boy signs, dude. They sound like freaking scabs or raiders. <laughs> That's really good. And all the list of changes, additional changes are here. Uh, and as far as I can see, the ex um, important ones are like um, new barter items and rebalance conditions and rewards in the old quest and added new quest as they tease for a while. Some quests in chains can now become available after a period of time after the completion of the previous one. Well, wasn't that like that already? <sighs> I don't know what's too much difference about it. Various improvements and changes in the hideout. Which they already mentioned up, up here. But I guess there are a lot more than what they already mentioned. The shooting range rather than shooting range. Well, they did talk about the gym. I guess they're not going to reveal everything on the freaking patch note. What's the point of patch note then? <laughs> Some quest. I uh, already read that. The spawn points of some quest items have been changed. The items will be in one of the random places located near to each other. So the golden jeepo is not going to be on the singular place, but it's going to be in that room, but around somewhere else in that room, something like that, I think. So they're trying to make us mess around with one place a lot more, <laughs> extending the playtime. All right. Some recipes for crafting in the hideout will be come available 
as a reward for completing specific quests. Wow, okay. That's new. That's like more than the book they were talking about that we need to like read a book to learn crafting. A new type of extraction is available on Streets of Tarkov. To activate it, you will need a green flare. Or you will get shot by the snipers when approaching the exit. Well, they did tease about this a um, couple of times. It's only in Streets of Tarkov too. I guess it's like the best extraction in Streets of Tarkov because you actually have to use the green flare, which is going to be quite rare. I think he's it's talking about the AI making fr friendly flare thing. Added the ability to add a craft to your favorites as well as search by name in the craft list. That is really good convenience uh, update. It's really good. Added weapon malfunctions for bots. That is awesome too. Because I hated that all the scabs can just shoot you infinitely. <laughs> Improve the behavior of rogue bosses. That one actually scares me because I don't think it's going to be a really well made AI. But it's going to do like a bunch of more stuff which will just insta kill you. Ouch. <laughs> and graphics and sounds. Optimized draw assistance. Well, you guys can check those out if you guys want to. It's related to AMD, I think. But another very important part, we worked the sound mechanics. Mechanics. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You can read the upper part. But it basically is saying that the sound positioning system handles much larger number of conditions to form the final sound in relation to the player's position. So basically it's saying that it's lot gonna be more revealing for where the players are at with the sounds because right now they sound like they're upstairs or downstairs or behind you or in front of you sometimes really weird you guys all know that right now if you have played Tarkov but I think they are saying they fixed it especially in factory customs woods streets of Tarkov with the new implement of oculus Earth audio they used to use steam audio which sounds really good i hope factory customs was especially streets of tarkov has good sound audio which will help us to find where the enemy is at or your friend is at and there are some additional fixes on the bottom i think i read them all but there weren't really like important stuff so if, if you guys want to check it out do check it out by yourselves well it seems like a lot of updates are happening in this wipe and I don't think this is all. There's gonna be Lightkeeper and some new mechanics in Streets of Tarkov. Well, it's gonna happen in soon in like five hours or four hours by now. So let's wait for it guys. Thank you guys for watching. After the update, I'm gonna be live on Twitch if you wanna, guys wanna check it out. And also I'm gonna try to explore Streets of Tarkov and Lightkeeper if they are here as much as possible and make an informative video about it and you guys can check it out by pressing that alarm button for me so I can update you as quick as possible. Hit that like and subscribe button to support me freely. I'll see you in Streets of Tarkov.